Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you all had a great holiday. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick intro um, to this tutorial real quick. Um, explain um, the title, um, Reflective Blade Runner Eyes. Um, me personally, I'm a huge fan of the film Blade Runner um, with Harrison Ford. Um, there's a particular scene where Harrison Ford's character um, is interrogating Rachel, I believe her name is, in the movie. Um, and there's this specific effect that, um, like, goes on with her eyes. It's almost like a, ref like, kind of like a reflective surface in the pupils. And um, it became really popular. I mean, I, I, I see a lot of artists using that effect. And I've um, seen also other movies use it, too. I personally um, used it in a couple of pieces. Um, one was called Nocturnal. Um, and um, I... I was, it was kind of an experiment because I really wanted to capture the, the effect well. Like I know you can just easily kind of put like white dots on the pupils on an image to kind of give that effect, but I kind of wanted to go a little step further. So um, yeah, so with this tutorial, I'll, I, I'll show you how I do it. Um, it's actually really simple, um, really easy to do. So, you know, let's uh, just jump right into it. All right, so let's uh, get started on this image here. So um, for this particular one, I, I rendered a figure in Daz 3D um, because that's kind of what I, I primarily use. But you know, um, if you don't have Daz 3D, you can use any kind of photo you want. Um, I just chose to do this because it's what I'm comfortable with and um, I have you know, control of the lighting and whatnot. So, um, so for this particular one, I kind of wanted to go more of a fa fantasy element. Um, you know, forest, kind of mysterious woman. Um, I added a little bit of a shadow, you know, around around the figure to kind of add to the kind of uh, mysticness of it, if that's even a word. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's get started on the eyes. So you kind of want to, you know zoom in and you notice the pupils, the size of the pupils, so you want to select the uh, ellipse tool and here we go, just kind of adjusting the uh, circle here. Okay, so you got, you want to make sure you kind of kind of match the, the size of the pupil. I'm going to shrink it down a bit. Okay, here we go. Alright, so the next step is um, double click the shape in the layers and I go gradient overlay and this is this is kind of the part of the effect that's convincing um, you know because typically you know you'd just be happy with just the white you know circle in the pupils and but I kind of want to go a step further so you know I want to make sure that I select a, uh, a reddish color so it's almost kind of like a pink tone because I noticed in the movie Blade Runner there is kind of like this pinkish sort of tone to it and kind of like that. That looks about right. Say OK and then hit OK here and then um, you want to duplicate that. Oops. Hit OK on that. Okay then you want to duplicate that and sort of position it over the other eye. There we go. Okay, so, so far that, that looks pretty good. So you want to take it, you know, you want to make it a little bit more realistic looking. Um, so I want to merge these two layers together. Why is that not? Oh wait, let me just select these. Okay, go image layer merge layers okay so now this is on one layer and the trick is see I'm going to zoom in on here and there's a little bit of distortion and in the overall image but these these eye edits they look too clean so what you want to do is go to the blur motion blur and you want to apply, I think I already have it set here to like two pixels. 
So it, you notice how it kind of adds a little bit of a distortion to the, uh, the eye effects here. So you want to hit OK. And to blend it even further, um, to kind of fit the overall image, as I just kind of change the opacity here, um, maybe like, let's say 65 possibly, like that. Okay, like that. So, so right here is, you know, it's very subtle, you know what I mean? Like you, you won't notice it off the bat, but you know, if you look at the details, that kind of gradient from red to white um, really does make a difference in the overall effect. Um, and it just kind of adds a little bit to the realism um, even though it's it's you know it's sort of a fantasy type image, um, it still kind of gives an extra little little thing to to what you're doing. So so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, feel free to try this out on on any photo, and you know, I think the the key to kind of add to that effect as well is um, the subject matter. Um, the theme that you're going for if you're going to design some kind of like horror theme or even like a cyberpunk theme ma make sure the atmosphere kind of uh, fits the overall um, look of the eye effect and that kind of helps sell the uh, the effect as well but um, you know I'm definitely gonna kind of cover a uh, future tutorial on you know how to how to kind of add atmosphere to a, an image and make it kind of, you know, your own. But, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I do plan on making more of these, so please let me know uh, your thoughts. And, you know, like always, um, if you like the channel, subscribe below, and I will catch you next time.